Today in the news, Nvidia is struggling to extract more juice out of its memory, AMD is becoming free to lay, and Intel is going to fight hard. What's up guys, I'm Dimitri, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with some GPU news. And today we got a bunch of stuff from the Triforce of graphics companies, Intel, Nvidia, and AMD. Starting with the green team, we have an April Fool's joke turned into a leak. copite 7 kimmy over on Twitter had an April Fool's tweet that was all about the next generation of Nvidia GPUs. It basically broke down into the 70, 80, and 90 series. Now, once again, this was a joke-ish tweet, but here are the specs. 12 gigabytes of VRAM for the 4070, 20 gigabytes of VRAM for the 4080 and 24 gigabytes for the 4090, all at a blazingly fast 24 gigabits per second. Yeah, that's a little too optimistic, especially the 24 gigabits per second part. GDDR6 is already dangerously hot and getting up to 24 gigabits per second seems like a good way to introduce flames into your system's aesthetics. Anyways, that was the April Fool's tweet. And now Copite went ahead and corrected one of these with actual information that he got from his sources. The 90 series, so the 4090, well, it would be a lot closer to our current 3090 Ti. So it would still feature 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory, and that memory would still be at 21 gigabits per second. All of that at 600 watts. So it looks like Nvidia wasn't able to squeeze more juice out of that GDDR6X after all. Then we have AMD in the news because their GPU is apparently going to push chiplets to the next level. We already know that AMD's next step in the GPU game is to split up the graphics chip into smaller chiplets. I mean, they've already done it on their cDNA-based Instinct Mi250X, but it looks like for Navi 31, the company might take another leap in the chiplet technology. Now, this information comes from leaker extraordinaire Greymon55, and essentially, he's saying that Navi 31 the highest end of AMD's next gen, so think uh, 7900 XT, well, it will have seven chiplets on a substrate. Seven. That's a lot of chiplets for a consumer part. As is, we already know that two of them are going to be the graphics cores. They would be built on TSMC's five nanometer process. According to what we know so far, the third chiplet should be the interconnect or the IO die built on TSMC's six nanometer process. But he said that there would be seven of them. So what could the other four be? Well, he says that they're called MCDs. One guess would be memory complex die, as in this could be for HBM memory. But I don't think AMD is taking a chance like that again. I mean, Raja Kuduri did a number on them with HBM, so yeah, I don't think they're going back. Anyways, another guess is that these four chiplets are the infinity cache. Now, to me, this makes the most sense. Clearly, AMD has been tinkering with splitting more and more components when building processors, GPU or CPU. And they've of course managed to isolate cache and stick it on top of a CPU with the 5800X3D. Now, what if they did that, but with cache on the GPU? That's what I think they want. Plus, Greymon says that these four dies are six nanometers. So the same process as the IO die. That would make it work perfectly for a stacked setup. So my guess is we'll have two graphics core dies side by side, one IO die either stacked on the GCDs or on the side with the cache stacked on top of the IO die. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below. And lastly, we have Intel in the news, and we're talking future XE GPUs. Redfire, over on Twitter, took the information currently available from old and newer leaks and from Intel documentation and made an educated guess at what Battle Mage could be. Battle Mage, by the way, is the generation of GPUs that is coming after Alchemist in around 2023 or 2024. Anyways, with Intel's tile system, a two tile version of Battle Mage would have 10,240 vector engines. That's like Intel's CUDA cores, the FP32 uh, ALUs. And with four tiles, we could see 20,480 vector engines. This might seem like an insane amount, but we're looking at 2023 slash 2024 here. AMD and Nvidia will already cross the 15,000 FP32 cores by 2023. 
So if they want to compete in the high end, this is Intel's chance. Now, Redfire does say that a two tile config is the most likely. And I agree, especially since Intel did say that Battle Mage is for enthusiasts, but not necessarily ultra enthusiasts. For that, we'll have to wait until Celestial, which is 2024 plus, so probably 2025 at this point. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you wanna talk about, I don't know, the Dimitri face at the start of the video. Uh, as usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.